Okay, so now that we have completely configured the Dash Media Player, we are now ready to dive in and start adding content to this website. This is really the exciting part of this whole process because you can see things come alive in the Media Player. The first thing that we're going to do is add a new content type called a video that's going to allow our users to upload videos to our website. And we do that by clicking on the Administer section and then also click on the Content Types. Once we are here, we can add a new content type by clicking on the link that says Add Content Type. For the name, this is the human readable name of what this content type is going to be, which is just video. For the type, it's going to be all lowercase. The machine readable name, this is what the machine readable name is going to be. And basically what this means is that this is what any internal application uses to uh, distinguish this content type from a different one. We're just going to use video, all lowercase. And the description could be something really simple, like add a video to this website. Something real easy. And then when we're done doing that, we're going to hit the Save Content Type button. So now that we have that set up, the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to manage the fields of this, of this video. We do that by looking at the video content type, and then there's a link called Manage Fields over here on the right. We're going to click on that. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the video upload field to this content type. We do that by just typing in video upload. For the field name, we're just going to type in lowercase video underscore upload. It's real important that you don't have spaces in this name because it's, a, it's, a, um, uh, it's used internally by other modules, so there's no spaces. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select a field type of file and then make sure that this over here says File Upload. After we've done that, we can hit the Save button. We can provide some help text, but I'm not going to for now, just because the most important thing in this section is the permitted upload file extensions. This is what, um, this is what the upload field is going to look for whenever a person uploads a file. It's going to try to make sure that the extension of that file is permitted. Now, this is where another piece of confusion comes into play whenever configuring the media player. A lot of people would just like to put any video extension in here. But because we're using the file field and, and the media player is going to try to play this file directly, it needs to be a file that Flash already um, supports, which isn't every single media type. And the reason why it's, it's like that is because Flash cannot play WMB files, they cannot play AVI files, so they need to be Flash they need to be Flash um, specific. The first one's going to be the FLV file, which is the Flash video format. The second one is MOV. After that, I usually like to do MP4, M4V, and then M4V. Now there's other ones that you can do. Let me zoom in on that. Now there's other file extensions that you can provide that Flash supports, but those are the most popular ones. Now for those of you out there who are wanting to have like a user-generated website where you want your users to be able to upload any web, any type of video content, and then to have that, um, then to have them automatically converted to the video, to the Flash video format. There's already a module out there called the Flash Video Module that requires a backend FFmpeg, which is a conversion utility, to do that for you. That's a little bit out of the scope of this tutorial, but this is a good way to do it if you're going to be adding the videos yourself. So whenever we're done doing that, we're going to scroll down here. And we're going to click on the required check mark. This basically means that we're going to, we do not want people adding a video that does not actually have a video attached. When you're done doing that, go down and click Save Field Settings. I also want this video upload to be close to the title. So I'm going to click on this little arrow right here and just drag it right below the title. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a thumbnail field. And you do this by just adding another field, just like we did with the video upload. We're going to call it video thumbnail. And for the field name, it's just going to be video underscore thumb. And then a select a field type, we're going to do a file. Now this also brings me to another really important um, discussion, and that is regarding the, the type of field that we're using to upload the thumbnail. And a thumbnail is an image, and there's already a very fantastic plugin module called the image field that is a plugin for the file field on CCK. But the cool thing about the image field is that it also integrates with the image cache module. 
what the image cache module does is it provides like backend dynamic image sizing based on what what websites request a certain size of an image so let's say you have a user that uploads a huge image that they want to show in the media player well if you just use the file upload it's not going to dynamically resize that image on the fly instead it's going to load that huge image in the media player and it's going to take a little while now in order to install all that it's, it requires a little bit of extra steps so I'm not going to cover it in this tutorial but just keep in mind that using this method you need to make sure that you have control over the, the size of the images that are uploaded if not then you need to use the image field and image cache solution so let's go ahead and hit save on this now in the permitted upload file extensions these are just going to be image extensions which are JPEG PNG GIF and then JPEG which is like a JPEG but just spelled different we're not going to make this required because we don't want to make it required for them to have a thumbnail in order to add a video so then you hit save field settings and then let's just grab this thumbnail by clicking on the arrow and put it right below the video upload field and then hit save settings